Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Are you sure? There's still time left if you need to talk with Sir Perth or do anything else. Then good luck to you. You'll need it.
Dawn arrives, and we survive the night. We are victorious. And though this victory came at great cost, we must remember none of us would be here were it not for the heroism of these good folk beside me. I thank you, good sir. Truly the Maker smiled on us when he sent you here in our darkest hour. Let us bow our heads and give honor to those who gave their lives in defense of Redcliffe. Now they walk with he who is their Maker. Long may they know the peace of his love. With the Maker's favor, the blow we delivered today is enough for me to enter the castle and seek out your Arl. Be wary and watch for signs of renewed attack. We shall return with news as soon as we are able. Now we've no time to waste. Meet me at the mill. We can talk further there. Beast. Can you not tell when you are not wanted? I enjoy company of creatures of the wild. Maybe domesticated wolves. And he persists. What do you wish of me? If you must. how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker, you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I, I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. 
We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will... Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. But I can delay no longer. It is begun. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men dem... That's the first I she had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him... You see, I'm a Malificar, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was ter- Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate. A mage outside the circle to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? 
Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. Give me a chance, please. You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I... no, I don't want to die. I guess you'll do what you have to, and so will I. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. It is begun. Ah! Ah! 